Hello, and welcome to this educational video. Today, we will demonstrate how to perform the bedside ABO compatibility check and how to interpret and report the results. Before we start, remember that you do not have to memorize the procedure, but you should know where to look for the information. In this case, always refer to the manufacturer's instructions. And for further information, check the Transfusion Edition 2019, a practical guide for doctors, nurses, and healthcare staff managing blood. The ultimate ABO compatibility check at the patient's bedside is intended to prevent ABO incompatibility accidents that result from mislabeling of tubes or blood units or from misidentification of patients. The test consists of checking both the ABO group of the recipient and that of the blood to be transfused. Reminder, bedside compatibility does not replace blood grouping tests and is not a cross-match procedure. The Serifol ABO bedside test is used in MSF to confirm the blood type and is usually used at the bedside immediately before a blood transfusion. The double card enables both the donor's blood and that of the recipient to be tested. This means that any incompatibility can be safely ruled out. The test fields of the card are each provided with an anti-A serum and an anti-B serum. When the antibodies are mixed, with the patient's blood, either a clumping occurs, known as a rapid agglutination, or the field remains constantly red. Now, let's move on to the procedure. First, we start by removing the Serifol ABO bedside card from the packet. Fill in the card with the recipient and donor information, according to card instruction. Add one drop of recipient blood to each reaction field using a pipette or directly from the finger of the recipient onto the recipient card. Next, on the donor card, add one drop of donor blood to each reaction field using a pipette. Add one drop of isotonic saline solution or water to each of the fields on the cards. Stir each field with a separate stick for 30 seconds until the reagent is completely dissolved on both cards. While mixing, spread material to be tested over the entire reaction field. Gently agitate the card, rotating it back and forth for about 30 to 60 seconds so that the mixture moves in circles without coming into contact with each other. Check the reaction fields for agglutination and write down the results on the card. Remember, agglutination looks like clumping and it is a positive result, which means an antigen has reacted with its corresponding antibody and the types of blood match. If the reaction is negative or blood does not match, there will be no agglutination. The blood will remain smooth. If the recipient's serifol card reactions do not match the donor reactions, do not transfuse. Immediately communicate the concern to your supervisor and the treating clinician. Sometimes a wrong result can occur. One cause is when the blood drop is too small or too large. Another is when the blood mixes with the dry reagent on the paper without saline or water. To prevent wrong results, follow the instructions in the test kit exactly, including checking the expiry date. Before we end, let's quickly review what to document. Note the interpretation of the results in the recipient section of the card and in the blood unit section, then sign. The reaction mixes on the card can be dried and covered by a self-adhesive see-through plastic cover included on the card. While the cards are drying, they should be stored horizontally and should not be moved. Once the card is dry, 
Cover with the transparent adhesive foil and keep it in the patient's medical file. If safe to do so, begin the transfusion according to the transfusion procedure. Monitor your patient and document according to the transfusion procedure. Congratulations, you have now completed a bedside compatibility card. If you need further clarification, please refer to the manufacturer's instructions and the MSF's Blood Transfusion Practical Guide for doctors, nurses, and other health staff managing blood transfusion activities. Additionally, do not hesitate to contact your supervisor, the medical or technical referent, or your training team. Thank you.